In today's video, I'm going to be doing an install guide as well as a quick overview of the MemeSense Cheat for CS2. Alrighty, guys, starting off with purchasing the MemeSense Cheat for CS2, you're going to head over to wickedgamers.com, which is linked down in the description down below. You're going to head over to Mod Menus. You're going to go to CS2 Cheats. Once you get to this screen, it's the first one that's right here. You're going to hit MemeSense right there. You're going to hit purchase 14 day or 31 day key, whichever one you prefer. Honestly, you might as well just go for the 31 day key. Uh, it's only $5. Once you get to this page here, you guys can enter in coupon code Luciano to get 5% off as you can see right there. And you are going to have to enter in your email. Obviously, once you complete your payment, you're going to want to get your key. Make sure you type in your email correctly. I have had so many people type in their email wrong. It's really not that difficult just to make sure you fucking type it in right. But uh, once you hit continue to payment here, you're basically just going to enter in your credit card information and you will receive an email which will contain your key. Once you guys complete your purchase, you're going to see an email that looks just like this. It's going to say send all downloads. Once you open up this email, it's going to say your order number. Thank you for ordering whichever, you know, key you purchased. And you're going to have your key right here. This is basically all you're going to need. You're just going to copy that key for when you use it later. You're going to head over to MemeSense website, which is uh, memesense.gg. You're going to go to account here. As you can see, it says sign in. You don't have an account yet, so you're going to hit sign up. You're going to fill in all of this information and then you'll meet me back in five seconds. Once again, if you guys do create your account, you're going to go to account up here. Once we get to this page, it's going to default to general. This is where you're going to go to activation keys. You're going to head over to your email that looks just like this. You're going to copy your key. So you're just going to hit copy. You're going to go over here and you're going to paste in your key. As you can see, there's no spaces before or after. You just hit activate here. As you can see, your subscription has been uh, added. And then all you have to do is download your loader, which would be right here. Before you guys download the loader, make sure you do turn off your window security or whatever antivirus you use because this could flag the file and basically prevent you from running it. So what you're going to do is head over to Windows Security. Uh, come, you're going to be in the home section. Just hit this box right here. Go to Manage Settings. Uh, turn off real-time protection and that should be all set. Uh, if you guys just want to make an exclusion to exclude this specific file, you would basically go here. You would hit yes on this page and you basically add the exclusion that way. Like I said, going back to downloading the launcher, you're just going to hit this button right here. As you can see, it says disable smart screen, disable Windows Defender, and disable the built-in firewall. And you can also disable or remove it entirely. All right, guys, so all you're going to do is scroll down here and hit download. If you guys are having any issues, I suggest reading any of these options here, which should be able to help you. Uh, but like I said, just hit this button right down below. As you can see, just let this load, and it's going to start downloading your file. You're just going to have to click up here. You're going to have to hit keep. You're going to hit... Uh, show more as well as keep anyway once you guys download it you should see something that looks just like this just hit open file hit yes on that pop-up as you can see this is meme sense the loader you're just going to log in here with your email and password which you used on memesense.gg Alrighty, guys once you are logged in you're just going to hit load right here it's going to say loading cheat uh launch game after the loader closes so you do have to load this before cs2 opens so as you can see, you're just going to hit load, wait for this to finish, and then you would open up CS2. So I'm just going to wait for this to finish. As you can see, it opens Steam automatically for you. So all you have to do is launch CS2. Once you guys do load into the game, the default menu open key is going to be insert. Uh, as you can see here, you do have a legit bot settings here, your master switch, you do have a per groups, all weapons or per weapons, your rifle type or your weapon type, I should say, your general options here if you want to enable legit bot uh, entirely. Uh, you do have your aim here, like your dynamic FOV, your RCS, uh, your accuracy here. If you want to mess with any of these, as you can see, you can ignore uh, frozen players. You can do your smoke check, flash check as well. Uh, your hit groups here, like your selection, you can change it to whatever uh, type of like the body you want to target. I did head and stomach, for example, with this config. Uh, you can do uh, prefer head or body or only body as well as your body aim if lethal you do have your auto fire as well as your auto wall as well if you would like to use these your aim assist section here your trigger bot which will basically automatically shoot onto players when you hold down the key uh, i would use this for ops personally or like a scout um but moving over here you do have your rcs which is your recoil script basically uh, you can put on enable and humanize which basically makes it look more human um Although that does look pretty obvious, I ain't even gonna lie. Um, I don't really care though. Obviously, I didn't make this config, so I could care less. Uh, but moving on here, you do have a visible here, like your auto wall, you do have your hit groups uh, once again. Moving on to your player options here, these are basically like your uh, your wall hacks, your ESP. As you can see, you can turn this on or off uh, from the distance. You can enable your health bar, nickname, box, 
uh, your armor bar as well as you can see you can also change the color of these as well so if you want to make the armor blue for example as you can see it's blue as well as your ammo bar on the bottom if you want to put it on the bottom kind of near the weapon you can also enable your weapon as you can see the icon right there you do your sound arrows as well as your out of fov arrow uh, as you can see up there uh, you need your flags as well like your bomb health ammo reload scoped flash distance diffuse kit helmet and kevlar uh, as you can see they have their uh, helmet and kevlar these are basically all toggleable if you want to have all of those on you basically can uh, you do for champs here as well if you want to enable champs for the enemy team uh gun game immunity free layers as well so if you want to make them pink for example as you can see you can do textured flat or model i'll just do model uh and then as you can see i'll walk over here and uh once I, how champs work is basically when you look at them is when they glow esp is through the walls regardless so as you can see they're pink uh because of that uh champs option so even if i were to turn walls off this would still work um which is pretty cool do your items here as well is basically like you can put a box you can put text as well as your icon or distance or dropped weapons uh whether it's your rifle for example your sniper your sniper rifle your c4 your planet c4 uh you can basically customize this however you may prefer it's all up to you visuals here like your smoke grenade timer as well as your incinerary uh grenade timer and then you just do have your bomb timer in your spectator list uh, so basically if anybody's spectating you you can see who's spectating you and then you do have your textured radar uh, which overlaid on top of that you can also change the scale of that as you can see the height uh, so if you want to make it bigger or smaller as well as the positioning if you want to move that radar uh, for example over here you want to show um, only the other team as you can see you can do that as well uh, which is pretty cool um but like i said i'm gonna turn that off for now moving over to world options here you do have a sky box if you want to basically change how the game uh looks the sky for example as you can see it looks like that now you can change it to you know like a green for example as you can see it changes that your world textures as well as your colored particles your misc options like your force uh sniper crosshair as well as our penetration crosshair and you have removals if you want to remove blood sleeves bullet holes zoom uh spread as well as our visual spread your smoke grenades as well as your first person legs uh your view options here as well you can basically change your view model as you can see mine's a little bit wider you can change it if you would like to do so you can also change your free look fov for example if you want to zoom in or not like that you can do that if you would like to do so i'm going to turn that off uh, as those are custom angles you can do that as well your pitch yaw and roll uh indicators here as well like a shadow text center text show only if enabled you can also hide when the chat is opened you can also change your font as well as your text offset and then lastly your positioning your misc options here like your event logs your in-game radar so it shows uh players on the top left um it shows where they are on the map basically is what that does uh, you could also preserve your kill feed as well if you want to keep this you know preserved you do have a scoreboard reveal as well which i believe lets you hold tab and you can see uh certain ranks i believe not 100 sure i'm in a bot lobby so obviously it's not going to work and you do always have your uh, square radar if you want to change you know your default to square basically makes it a little bit bigger which is kind of nice uh you do have your game interactive like your auto accept matches which is pretty cool uh you do have your custom sound mixer as well as your lock achievements if you would like to do that you have your config section here as well you can basically create uh different configs of your liking uh and you can also load configs in so basically you go on the website to the forum section you go to configs uh you basically have a share code here which they will provide on the forum you paste in that uh code which will be something that's pretty long you hit create and it will load that config in for you then you would basically just come here and hit lo load um if you would like to load that one in which is pretty cool uh it's pretty convenient and it's pretty fast but as you can see this aimbot does work incredibly good uh for being so cheap this cheat is actually incredibly good um so that's why we just started selling it um which is pretty nice that actually is going to be it for the setup guide and this quick overview of meme sense if you guys want to pick it up like i said head over to wickedgamers.com use coupon code luciano but that actually is going to be it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace